Our lead story, well, Nitish Kumar set to return to the BJP fold. There are lots of rumours doing the rounds that that could happen in the next seven days. Well, this as there were parallel parleys, hectic meetings from Bihar to Delhi. In Bihar, the Nitish Kumar camp met. Meanwhile, in Delhi, Amit Shah chaired a crucial meeting. The BJP Bihar president was summoned summarily to Delhi as well. And this amid Nitish Kumar's decision to not participate in Rahul Gandhi's Yatra. In fact, NDTV has exclusive details of the BJP-JDU plan. The point of contention is only Nitish Kumar's chief ministership and the tenure of Nitish Kumar's uh, CM ship uh, and the CM post. So that seems to be a point of contention. But key seat-sharing details as per sources have been discussed. Take a look at this report. Yet another U-turn is likely for Bihar Chief Minister Nitish Kumar, who appears all set to dump allies Lalu and Tejashri and go with BJP once again, just months before the crucial Lok Sabha election. Sources say Nitish has called all JDU MLAs to Patna and may chair a cabinet meeting minus RJD ministers to recommend dissolution of the Bihar Assembly. Sources said even though state BJP leaders are skeptical about Nitish Kumar's return, given his history of flip-flops, the top leadership of the party has made up its mind. Nitish Kumar, Lalu Ji ko bar bar BJP ki ori shara karke ये डराते हैं और मैं पहले भी कहा ये गाना गाते रहते हैं मैं मैके चली जाऊंगी तुम देखते रहियो लेकिन मैके का दरवाजा बंद है ये वो नहीं बताते The Congress and the RJD apparently caught unawares have been trying to pacify Nitish Sources add that Lalu Yadav has already dialed Mr Kumar the Congress too is trying to get on the hotline to get Nitish to come to the Bharat Joro Nya Yatra when it enters Bihar later this month. Something he has refused to do. Look, I don't have any trust now that Nitish Kumar will take any step from which they will be able to get out of their party. Now, there are no days left, they were left and left. Now, after that, they will go to the same party, then the people who are for Nitish Kumar, this would be the fifth change of camp in just over a decade. Since 2013, Nitish has been swinging between the NDA and the Mahagad Bandhan. He switched sides last in 2022, just three years after he had walked out of the Grand Alliance and joined the NDA. But for the moment, JDU seems to signal all is well. News of the latest U-turn by the Janta Dal United boss has triggered speculation over what led to the latest jump. At the top of the list of probable causes is BJP's decision to award former Bihar Chief Minister Karpuri Thakur a posthumous Bharat Ratna. Mr. Thakur was an iconic socialist leader who was Chief Minister twice in the 1970s and was also Nitish and Lalu Yadav's mentor. Both had strongly advocated for the award. After the award was confirmed, Nitish Kumar thanked the Prime Minister. Significantly, he also took a swipe at dynasty politics, seemingly aimed at Lalu and Tejasvi. India का ढंडन सलामत है। नीतीश जी का कमेंट लालू जी पर या सोनिया जी पर नहीं था। वो करपुरी ठाकुर की प्रशंसा कर रहे थे कि उन्होंने अपने पुत्र को राजनीति में नहीं आने दिया। परिवारवाद भाजपा का तरफ कहीं सारा तो नहीं था। A Bharat Ratna for Karpuri Thakur has left Nitish Kumar with a very difficult choice. Should he stay on with the India Alliance where he was already unsettled? claiming disrespect over being passed on as Chief Minister, or should he do a ghar wapsi? With Maria Shakil and Manish Kumar and camera person Ashwini Mehra, this is Shadrata Lahiri, NDTV.